It seems that the more videos I make, the more questions I get. The more questions I get, the more videos I make. It's a vicious circle. So I want to make a quick video about what channels you should use when you're on GMRS or if you're using an FRS bubble pack, bubble wrap type radio. Some of the experts will say you could use just any channel. Is that true? Maybe. I know there's a lot of important stuff on Instagram you could be catching up on right now. I'll just lay it out right up front. The best channel to use for GMRS or if you're using an FRS bubble wrap radio is channel 16. There you go. If you want to know why channel 16 is the best channel, stick around and watch the rest of the video. It's more important than Instagram. But first, I want to go over the results of a poll that I posted on YouTube asking everybody what they thought was better, CB, HAM, GMRS, or MERS. And I want to share the results of that poll. This was a scientific poll posted on YouTube. The results are indisputable and unquestionable. And HAM Radio got 38% of the vote. Again, these results are indisputable. GMRS got 46% of the vote. I got my notes right here, so I don't get it wrong. CB got 14% of the vote. People saying that CB was the best, 14%. And MERS got 2%. So for all you clowns that kept posting that MERS is the best, this scientific poll proves otherwise. It also proves what we've known all along. GMRS is better than ham. It's indisputable. It's scientific. You can't argue science. As long as we're talking about polls, I also posted a poll on YouTube asking which was better. Marianne or Ginger. This was a controversial poll. Marianne versus Ginger debate has gone on for decades. Ginger, who many characterized as a slut, got 22% of the vote. Mary Ann got 61% of the vote. 17% of people that voted didn't understand the question. Again, these results are indisputable. It's science. You can't argue with science. Forgot what we were doing here. Okay, so you might think that the GMRS channels are all the same. They're not all the same. Each one has a different number. You might think that one is just as good as the other to use. You would be wrong. GMRS has 22 standard channels. They're all shared with FRS radios, but there are differences legally in the amount of power that you can use. And most GMRS radios will transmit differently on the different channels. So let's go over the differences. All the channels, channels one through 22 on GMRS are shared with FRS. FRS radios are the cheap bubble pack walkie talkies that you find at Walmart, 20, 30 bucks for a package of two. They say 10 mile range on the box. Those are FRS radios. All the channels, 22 channels, you can talk to a GMRS radio with. Channels one through seven are limited to five watts. If you have an FRS radio, no matter what, it's only gonna transmit at one or two watts. But if you have a GMRS radio, channels one through seven will only transmit at up to five watts. The, an actual real GMRS radio approved for GMRS use won't transmit at over five watts on channels one through seven. Channel eight through 14 are limited to only a half a watt of power. Even if you have a GMRS walkie talkie, like the KG805G from buy2wayradios.com, affiliate links below. Even if you have one of these radios that's capable of outputting up to five watts, because it's a fully approved GMRS radio, it knows the rules, it's only gonna transmit at half a watt. So half a watt versus five watts, depending on where you are and how far away the people are that you're talking to, that could make a big difference. Channels eight through 14 are also limited to narrow band. For most normal people, that doesn't make much of a difference. When I'm talking to somebody on narrow band, on my wide band radio, I can't hear any difference, but there is a difference. The experts, they'll leave comments. They'll explain the difference between wide band and narrow band. Doesn't make a difference to me. If you have a mobile radio, like the BTEC GMRS 50X1 or the Ocean KG, 1000G, both of which are 50 watt radios, they won't even transmit on channels eight through 14. Apparently they can't get themselves down to only half a watt of output. So the high power radios won't even talk on channels eight through 14. 
says it right in their manual. You can only listen. So that's a big reason to not use channels eight through 14. Channels 15 through 22, you can transmit at up to 50 watts. That's where the big boys play. That's where you'll find us. That's why we use channel 16. That's one of the reasons why we use channel 16. Now the old timers, the experts, no doubt, will leave comments below telling us that the official channel for calling people or reaching people on GMRS is channel 20. But that is actually no longer official. It's in the old FCC rules. It doesn't really apply now. And more importantly, nobody knows about it. So if nobody knows about it, it doesn't really count. And some groups have designated channels three or 17 or 20 as emergency channels. A lot of the preppers use some of those channels as emergency channels, but if nobody's listening. If nobody knows that, it doesn't really matter. What really matters is what channel is the other guy that you want to talk to on. So channel 16 is the best. If you're using one of those highly illegal Baofeng UV5R type radios, you can find out more about why and how illegal those are if you're on GMRS. Watching that video. If you're using one of those radios, channel 16 would be frequency 462.575. Another question that people post all the time is how do I look up the frequencies for the different channels? So if I want to use channel 15 on my Baofeng radio, which is highly illegal, how do I know what frequency to type in? And I try to answer those, but seriously people, have you people never heard of Google? It's the newest thing. All the kids are using it. You go to your Google machine, you type in. What is GMRS channel 16 frequency? And it will tell you. It might take a minute, you might have to read some words, but it's there. Try it. The channel 16 lets me use up to 50 watts on my mobile radio. It lets an FRS radio use up to five watts. It allows wideband instead of narrowband. And I'm sure we're gonna see all the great reasons why that matters in the comments below. It lets you talk to the FRS, the cheap little bubble wrap walkie talkies. Most importantly, the most important reason why 16 makes sense for us, there's a mathematical formula that proves channel 16 is the best, at least for off-roading. Let me explain. When we go off-roading, also known as four by four, that's signified by the number four and an X and another four, four by four. The more scientific minded would know that four X four is also four times four. And when you multiply four times four, you get channel 16. It's science, people. Cannot be argued with. That's why channel 16 is indisputably the best mathematically and scientifically the best channel to use on GMRS. There can be no other possible best channel. If you disagree, I don't care. But leave a comment below for the other viewers. Enlighten them. I know the truth. If you have questions, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the train.